door with those petal details. Of course, you've got your smaller envelopes here as well, your traditional style. You've got all the things like your tags featuring in here. They are all within this bundle. 29 plastic templates you are going to get to allow you to create with this one. I've got another example here of how they can be used. Alongside other things that you might already have within your stash, maybe you've got grey board, um, maybe you've got um, canvases that you're wanting to add interest to. You can do that by adding to the pages or the base that you've already got or indeed make those pages yourself. You can see all the different dividers here featuring. So you've got 29 pieces, apologies, with regards to that, because sometimes you'll need more than one piece to make up a template. So just to emphasize that with these. So for instance, this particular page, you've got the outside element there, which is detailed, but then you might have another piece that works alongside it. Love this where you kind of can see where these pages have been created using fabric, a little bit of stitching going on with here. Could be a pretty papers that you're using. It could be, oh, there we go. That is upside down. Let's turn it around that way. A pocket is always good when you've got it the right way around. Um, oh, look at that, neatly went straight in there. Fabulous. Um, and again, you've got all the tags, all the um, interactive elements that you're going to be able to add into here, featuring. And I love this. It's almost like a little um, thumb element there with a cutout. But then you've got your little tags that are going to sit within there neatly as well. Love it. Very, very popular bundle. Lots of you taking advantage of these. And at £31.99, I'm not surprised in the slightest because you're getting a lot for your money. 135876, just £31.99 if you want to get hold of those. 20% of the stock has gone. I did tell you it's going to be a busy hour. Hour. and as you continue to place your orders you might like to have a little look at some of the other goodies that we've got to share with you because of course we're talking A5 with these particular projects well, we've actually got some A6 ones for you as well so very similar style you'll see some familiar elements within here but obviously on a smaller scale because of course the maths involved is different dependent on the sizes so you can see again here you've got your markings you've got your outside elements markings there for where you're going to be scoring and folding and bringing these pieces together and again, you have got so many. I think you've got 22 elements within this particular bundle. Again, things like the little thumb uh, elements we were speaking of here. You've got your dividers with these, your little square envelopes featuring in here. Again, another little envelope template there tags all that interactive opportunity so in this time you're working on a smaller scale so if you're working perhaps you've got some um, a gray board covers and we can actually help you with your bases as well we've got some fabulous binder kits that you could actually use these alongside which i'll share with you in a few moments but the interactivity that you've got there so again that particular template we've got down at the front um, where you've got kind of like a almost like a quadruple fold with this one but of course you don't have to use it in its entirety you could stop that at whichever point you want Wanting to, but the score lines mean you've got the perfect score to actually put that into your project. Equally so, some of these elements where you've got kind of like a triangle that will fold across to make a tag, um, or tag pocket should I say, then you've got the tag elements, all of these featuring within here, even down to your base pages and your dividers, they are all included in here. So very professional result time and time again, and love it absolutely beautiful There's those little envelopes you can see there the little thumb holes that we're speaking of earlier on all featuring within here beautiful and there you go there are all your dividers featuring as well 17.99 a very affordable way for you to get hold of these and the beauty is you can take the time to place them on your pay um, your pretty papers to get the certain accent that you want sitting at a certain point and brilliant value for money, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, 846682, if you fancy adding these ones into your basket, they're just 17.99, but why not consider getting hold of the larger pages as well, because I think they'd work quite well together. Now, I did mention about your bases, which of course, it's good to have a base that you can start with, and that's what Tando Creative have bought here. You've got your different sizes with regards to these ones. So we're looking at a duo here where you've got your A5 along your side, your A6. Now with these, you can see you have got, obviously your mechanism, which is already attached to your board there, secured well in place where you've got those openings, which of course you can be popping your pages into. Then you've got things like your living hinge, I think they're called, where you're actually creating those wraparound elements there, as you can see, which are going to keep your front cover and your back cover in place. And the clever design of this, where you've got those little cuts there, allow that piece of card to mould around a card, grey board, around your um, covers, the front and the back, to 
make sure that everything locks in place. And you can see here how you've got that fabulous detail that when you put it in place, maybe using things like your stencils, your mediums to add to those, you're going to get some amazing results. And of course, within there, you've got all those fabulous pages that you're going to create with your templates. Now, you've got your A5 and your A6 with these. So, of course, that's your more your A6 size. There's your A5 size considerable size pieces as I'm sure you agree and of course you have got your front covers alongside your back covers so of course it all comes together like so if you wanted to get hold of these then you're going to get both of them for just 15.99 and it's, if you want to go for a couple of sets then why not take advantage while you have the opportunity because as I say with Tando Creative we don't always have those items in stock 764-609 if you're wanting to get hold of those now, we've got another lovely set for you, again, with that kind of spine with the ring um, holders in there. But this time, you've got loads of tags with them as well. Very clever design, this one. So, again, you've got all sorts of different elements, so you've got the, your detail, your embellishment there. But this is amazing, because you have got, again, that living hinge there, creating your... I mean, straight away, you can see you've got that canvas there ready for you to start creating. But in here, you've got all your amazing tags. This is brilliant. You're getting so many of them, all featuring within there. You've got 12 of your tags. You've also got your embellishments. So you've got things like your mini hearts, as you can see here, which are going to pop out. You've also got your little butterflies featuring within there. And of course, you've got things like your techniques and your journal, because this might be the title for your book. Maybe you're going to be keeping it as an art journal, so you might want to use that on the front, or maybe you're using it to practice and kind of document your different techniques as you learn them. All of these are included, and of course, it gives you the ability to truly get so creative with these. Pop that cover background there on that one, as I show you one of these, because this one here, is entitled Techniques. Now, of course, I didn't think. You've got the letters, you've got your positive and your negative, so you can pop out those letters, put the letters on another project, and here, use the fall away, the waste, on another project. What a clever idea. So what have we got in here? Let's have a little look. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness, look at these tags. These look amazing. So you are going to get 12 of these now, of course, dependent on the amount of detail, the amount of relief you put on these, depends on how many can fit into your binder. But, of course, you've got lots and lots of um, opportunity to create. And do keep a little the, um, on the back of these. You can see here where um, I'm not sure who's created this piece, but they can see almost like a recipe card and your instructions there. So when you're trying out techniques, it gives you the perfect opportunity for you to keep those as a record of those different techniques as you're working with. Absolutely beautiful. It's like a work of art, that. And, of course, the binder that wraps around to give you your cover beautiful um, and of course you're getting one of those again if you want to go for multiples of them please do 9.99 for each set you go for and each set will give you one of those covers with obviously your ring binder in there 12 tags and then of course your additional embellishments all come with it as well um, if you want in yours 966-752 being the item number that one's quite a square shape to it but we've got another one which is more of an a6 style with this one and this one is a, a lovely collection again brilliant idea I love these and you've got again you've got your covers with your living hinge there so again you've got that curvature that you've got there kind of gives that that look of a, a, an old library book doesn't it beautiful again you've got the opportunity there to add your pages to this perhaps you'll be using some of the templates additional pieces included with these which of course you can use for your artwork you punch them if you want wanting to pop them in there as well then of course you've got your little plaques included with these as well and here you can see an idea of how you potentially could be working. So taking one of those pieces, maybe you've got a die cut um, the, or a steel rule die. Like this one here, you can see you've got the jigsaw pieces that have been cut out and the framework built up with that aperture in the middle there to show off. And then, of course, using those templates, this, on this occasion, the um, A6 templates, I think it is, yeah, A6 templates, yes, creating those pages within there time and time again. And, of course, you have got your larger version, your larger um, A5 book, which, of course, you could be using the A5 templates, which are brand new to us um, today. You're going to get two of these ring binder covers um, and, of course, those additional elements there. And you've got four pairs of covers alongside there, of course, as well as those little um, oval aperture elements there as well. So you can see, 999, brilliant value for money, 369 Seven two one. Pretty much covered everything so far. So uh, we are going to share a fabulous demonstration with you. Lovely Di Oliver with a demonstration featuring the brand new items that we shared with you. Those A5 templates. Hi everybody. 
Um, this is the A5 templates, and the best way to use these, um, really, or the quickest and easiest way, is to use them with double-sided papers. Um, but of course, not everybody have, has those, and, and sometimes you want to do your own thing. So I'm going to show you today um, using these templates with plain paper and just decorating your plain paper. So these are the, the, the two parts of one of the templates. I'm going to use this part, so I'll just pop that one out the way for a second. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some um, quite sort of fairly good quality watercolour paper. I'm going to pop this over the top. And then what I'm going to do is just draw around the outside with a pencil. And because we use um, fairly thick material, it means that the pencil runs quite well along the edge and it doesn't sort of bend or fold over very easily. So we'll just draw around the edge. Now, um, this is the tab, this end. So I obviously want to have the crease line there for that one. And then I'm not going to use these two outer crease lines. I'm just going to use this in a one so I'll mark that off and then I need to know where the holes are going to go so I'll just mark those off there like that okay so then when you take away your template this is what you have so what I need to do now is I need to just cut this out you can either use um, a pair of scissors or a craft knife whatever you find easiest And you don't have to be too precious with it. Um, it's, it's an art at the end of the day, so it doesn't actually matter if it's not quite perfect. Um, when you're going around these uh, corners here, if you're not confident about cutting around a corner, you can use a corner punch. Um, that's absolutely fine. one along there like that so that's your template all cut out I'll just get these bits of paper out of the way they can go in the bin like that and there's your template like that um, we don't need to do anything with the score lines or anything at the moment that can wait till the end so the next stage is I'm going to use um, some, these are ink tents um, blocks, but you can use paints or you can use um, um, watercolour pencils or anything like that. That's fine, anything that you can add a bit of colour to um, that gives a watercolour type finish. Um, so we start off, I'll just sit down, it's a little bit easier. Where I start off, I'm just going to take a blue. Um, I'm going to pop this on a piece of paper. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of blue around the edges in little places here and there. You don't need to be too heavy with it, just very lightly. These particular uh, make of pastels are quite intense, so you don't need an awful lot of colour. Just add bits here and there. This is going down the crease line. Add a bit down there and a little bit along there like that. Like that. And then what I'm going to do then is I'm going to get a nice wide brush fully loaded with water and I'm just going to soften the markings. You can keep adding a bit of water to blend it in. Don't worry that you've got a little bit of the texture showing, that just adds to it. You don't have to blend it right in. Like that. 
And then if you want to, you can soften the edges just with a piece of kitchen roll and you can just dab it back. But it is actually quite nice to have these kind of marks going around. It just adds a little bit of more interest to it. So we're just going to go all the way around, just going over those marks. We are going to want to put a little bit down this this edge here because this is another fold mark so we're just put in a few more lines there blend them in like that we can turn this round as we go blend that one in And as I say, just dab back any areas where you don't want too much colour. Put some down the edge there. And it's always best to do less rather than more because you can always add more colour if you want to. Uh, do it like that. That's that. So now I'm going to have to dry that one off. So I shall come back when that is dry. So now we're gonna go on and do the next um, layer of color. So I've taken this kind of yellow greeny color, um, which again, I'm going to put in just little areas here and there around the outside, just little touches. You don't need too much. And as I said in, in the earlier part, um, less is more. So if you want to add some, you can, um, but it's not so easy to take it away. Okay, so we've added a bit in like that in various places. Again, with a nice wide brush, we want to just add that to the color just to blend it in a bit. But you want to see all these layers underneath. You don't want it to um, to be too heavy. I go around and do all these areas. Keep adding water to your brush. And that just blends it all in nicely. Like that. Okay. So I now need to um, dry that layer off and then we'll move on to the next stage. We certainly will do, Di. Thank you for that. I look forward to see how that all evolved. And of course, Di's been using those brand new templates that she's brought to us here. Tando Creative, they are exactly as it says on your screen that they are the most creative people bringing all sorts of goodies for you to create with. And um, if, with this, you've got 29 um, different elements within here all coming together to make those fabulous templates that will give you that interactivity that we touched on earlier on. Just very, very briefly showing you these because they've been popular very very popular so much so that half of the stock has gone now of course the templates will allow you to add the folds to add that interactivity to allow that interest because of course that all the measuring has been done with those templates and as Di has just shown you you've got the slots in there for those fold areas to add that interest and all of these are included it's not choices of you're not going to pick out um, which ones you're wanting you are getting all of these now of course we have seen them previously on an A6 size but of course the maths involved means that with the larger sizes it's definitely worth going for these rather than trying to fiddle it out yourself because let's face it when it comes to maths it's not the simplest thing to do love the size of the little envelopes here as well because you could actually use that as a little gift envelope if you wanted to the pockets with the kind of the depth of these means that you can be putting those fabulous tags in there using up all your wonderful papers and of course you've got so many different styles within here that you can be able to create over and over again because the durability of the templates means 
means that you have got the ability to use them over and over. We're getting busier and busier. I think you're realising that with half the stock having got at this stage, how, how soon you need to get involved with these as well. Now we've got another show coming up tomorrow with this one as well. Um, 11 o'clock in the morning so of course if you have invested in your set do make sure that you tune in because there'll be um, more um, coming from a diet during that particular hour as well but I would certainly be placing your order for it now rather than waiting because I wouldn't want to miss out on these I want to get hold of them while I have the opportunity um, of course the binder itself with all these different elements we have got this on the show as well but if you're looking and concentrating on the inner pages then this is the template set that you're needing it's one that I was working with um, and you can see here you've got everything from your fabulous kind of uh, bag elements and I keep referring to a bag element because it is like a little handle there but of course that is a wrap around as we saw from with it in there as well um, you've got all sorts of different pieces with these you've got your pockets where you've got the score lines in there so they all fold all that interactive element that is in here and of course you've got your markings there for your holes throughout if you're looking at doing your pages and your dividers well you've got that covered with these as well so even if you're thinking of in um, incorporating your own cardstock maybe making yourself a planner or um, well, it could be a diary system or whatever you're wanting to create you can do that quite easy just with those but then you've got the ability to put the little envelopes in place those little hidden areas where you could have photographs or maybe popping the tags talking of which the tags are all included as well so all of these templates coming to you for an amazing price of just 31 pounds and 99 pence really is a set worth going for and we are incredibly busy 60 percent of the stock has gone that's how busy we are and we're not um, even halfway through the show so 135876 being the item number because they're flying out so quickly did just want to touch base with you but we're going to head back to the rest of the demonstration with dye so that's now dry so i'm going to go on to the final color uh, which is red and again i'm just going to add little touches of this in here and there around the edge and down the crease lines. This is um, a fairly intense colour so um, I don't want to go too mad to start with. We can always put a bit on if we need to, a bit extra. Okay and then as before with a well loaded brush just pick up the colour and blend it down into your page, dabbing it back if you need to. The importance um, when you're doing this is really to dry the layers off in between. Um, otherwise the colours tend to blend um, and you could end up with a bit of a muddy colour. So you just want to make sure everything is completely dry before you go on to your next, your next colour. a little bit more around here like so okay right so that's that layer now before I dry it off I'm just going to take a uh, watercolour brush and I'm going to pick up a bit of colour on the brush from each of the, the blocks that I've used already. Like that. And then I'm just going to flick some colour around. Because the, the wet the paper's wet, you'll see some of the splashes will spread out, which looks actually quite nice. And then on the dry areas it will just stay as, as harder splashes that's that we'll give that brush a clean and then go on to the red and again we're 
just splash that on. And then the last colour is this lovely yellow green. Which will pop on there like that. That's that. So now I need to dry this off again and then we can go on to the next stage. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black pen. I'm using a 0.5 fine liner pen and what I want to do is, is just sort of do some lines and squiggles just around the outside and down each side of these um, fold marks. <clears throat> so you don't have to be particularly fussy with these, just very, very sketchy. All it does is just outline the project. And then I'm just going to add these little scribbles here and there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along to where the fold line is. And then I'm going to drop down, down here. As this is going to be two separate kind of pages because it's folding over. Now if you don't like your own scribbling then you can use stamps um, or you could use some stenciling, whatever you have, just to add a little bit of de definition around the outside. So we just keep doing this all the way around the panels. You can make your scribbles different heights, you can put in circles, whatever whatever you like, whatever takes your fancy. Okay. And then along this bit. And then we'll go around this this curve. Now obviously it's it's easier when you do these sorts of things if you just keep turning your paper so you're using your your hand naturally rather than keep turning your hand around which makes it more difficult. So that's that one panel done. I'm going to go on and do the same with this panel and then um, we'll come back and I'll show you how to put it all together and you can see the finished article. Okay so I've finished the doodling around the outside now. Um, there is just one thing left to do before we actually assemble the page and I'm just going to do a little bit of stamping on it. Um, I'm using um, a script stamp. This one is by Chocolate Baroque and I'm going to use an archive link pad but any, any black ink is fine. So I'm just going to do a little bit of just random stamping around just over the page like that. And then once we've done that, we can then put it all together. So that's how that finishes up. I've actually also done the other side. So both sides are done. And I've also got the template from the other piece, which joins up to it. And I'm going to um, put that 
together. So the next thing we need to do um, is we just need to put a score line down this line here because we're going to be folding the page over. Um, so I'm just going to use the back of a knife. Uh, you can use um, a bone folder. I'm also going to just use the edge of one of the templates and very gently just run the knife down just to score it down like that. And then you can see that that folds over like that. So that's like that. And then this piece is going to join onto here. But we'll just run the knife down there first of all. And then because then that will uh, create a fold there as well. So we'll do that. Like that. And then we can fold that over. There. Like that. And then this piece is going to join onto here. So I will join that on with some glue. I'm going to use just a strong PVA glue. Um, and then it will take a little while to, to get it completely set. And then um, I'll pop some holes in it. I can use a crocodile for that. And then that will be it completed. Doesn't it look amazing as well, Di? Thank you so much. Very inspirational. And I love it that you can literally take that blank canvas and turn it all into something that you've created just using those wonderful templates. And of course, we were looking at A5 templates there, but of course, there's a series of A6 templates which are very similar in design, so as in the different pockets, as in the different interactive elements, but on a smaller scale. And this is the key thing. It might be that you wanted to make your smaller planners, your smaller journals. Maybe you want them more so to, um, to fit in your pocket or to fit into a small bag when you're on your travels. Um, maybe you want to make a small memory album as a gift for somebody. Well, these are the perfect size for your A6 templates. Now, again, you've got your inner pages, so these are going to have all the, the kind of interest between the covers, so to speak. Um, you've also got the ability to get your outside covers, which we'll tell you about potentially in a few moments. But this particular set, we have seen it before, but it's a very popular bundle during this hour as well. And 30% of the stock has gone of this one. Similar sort of idea. You've got your templates in the same way as Di just showed us. You are, are going to be able to create those elements using the templates, drawing around them, cutting them with a craft knife, um, creating those pockets, those areas of interest interactivity which means that when you actually put them into your um, covers then you've got loads and loads of interest using up pretty papers maybe that you've got in your stash or just as Di showed us there creating your own papers um, thinking about how you're going to be making those pockets those inserts those elements which of course then when you're using them with things like your binding machines and you can create your own unique style of um, little albums with there lots of little pockets as you can see with these um, all the interest features within them which is really nice little envelopes little areas are going to be able to pop your tags and your photographs going right the way through really because we've got some wonderful examples can I show you another one as well like this one because you might not have a binding machine so you'd be thinking to yourself well how do I put it all together just simply using a little bit of cord that's one way of doing it of course you've got things like your book rings as well you could be using your book rings it could be ribbon um, there's loads of different ways so don't be afraid of that we we'll are I'm sure you'll have something in your stash already but again you've got things like these little kind of pockets they've got three dimensional um, elements in there so of course that means you can put lots of tags in that particular page there again little pockets where your tags can go in these kind of little thumb hole elements um, there's just so much interest within here you can be able to create some absolutely amazing projects time and time again knowing that the, all the a6 elements will work within those wonderful little books that you are creating really lovely detail within this and I've got this oh no I thought you got it upside down for a moment then but you've got loads in here. It's lovely because you've got all these little flaps and little areas that you can kind of peek into and find all these wonderful little elements in there and all done with those amazing templates. Now, if you're wanting your set for your A6 to earn books, then the details are there on your screen. Just £17.99. Very affordable way for you to get hold of them. 846682 being the item number. But of course, if you are looking for a way to have an instant kind of cover for yours, then we can help you with those as well because we have got lots of those in different sizes. 
sizes. So this particular one is giving you the ability to create your covers and then you've got, oops a daisy, almost like a binding strip that's going to bring your front and your back covers together. Very clever, you've got both the sizes with these. So you've got your A5 and your A6. So if you are going for the templates, perfect. The way that these work is when they come to you, you're going to have different pieces. So you're going to have your backboard and your backboard has got obviously a little ring binder element there um, and that's all safe and secure already attached. You haven't got to do that. It will come to you just like that. Then of course you've got the straps and the straps have got that living hinge which you may hear us re refer to time and time again. It's where your grey board is actually then very, very flexible to create those wraparounds. You've got two of those in the smaller size and then you've got your wider one as well. And then you've also got your elements that are going to sit on the front to create um, a kind of more interest or perhaps a closure to wrap from the back round to the front. And then of course you have got your other piece and you've got kind of little markers here so if you do want to actually put them in place and stitch them in place then you can do just make sure you poke through those little holes there and the darning needle will take you with all those little elements through but of course you don't use them just as they are you're going to add colour to them so here you go here's the A5 one we haven't had a little look in here so we've got the obviously here the almost like buckle detail that you've got um, and then you've got all those different elements that are going to be inside by using your template so uh, as you can see there lots of uses for those templates within the covers but if you're wanting the covers that are going to wrap around with those straps there then the details are on your screen exactly the same for your A6 there um, and uh, yeah two lovely sizes that are going to work with those templates that we've just seen 764 609 just 15 pounds and 99 pence for those but you might find the, um, something slightly different which we can help you with because you've got an element where you've got the ring binder but you've got loads of tags in here now the idea behind these is that potentially you're going to be using them for things like your techniques or maybe your art journal so you can see you've got your two tags here which you've kind of got your title elements so you've got the letters which you can pop out and as you can see on this one they've been stuck in place and then of course when you do pop them out then you'll have the fall away or the, the, the outside element which again has been used on the front cover of this one now i think we had a little look inside that one didn't we so if you have a look inside another one so you've got your binder again with that living hinge that's what we've actually got down on the counter here with all those tags inside and the idea is that you use those tags again to document perhaps the way that your day is gone or to try out different techniques and of course you have got plenty of room on the back there that what you could do is add the details or maybe just make them into double-sided tags so there's lots of opportunity for you to add color and add detail to these maybe just trying Try out a new technique, try out some new paints that you've got in your stash. Maybe you've had some new stamps come through and you fancy just giving them a little bit of a test run to see the kind of results that you can get. Well, those tags are perfect for that opportunity. Of course, nothing stopping you tracing around those, perhaps making some out of your watercolour cardstock and things like that to go in there as well. But it doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop with your, your hinges and, um, sorry, your cover with the hinges and then, of course, the um, tags because you're going to go and have some embellishments that you're going to get within here as well things like your little hearts and your butterflies again perfect opportunities for you to trial out some of those techniques that you're going to be um, having a go at and the fact that you are getting all of that so you're going to get the embellishments the title packs as well as your living hinge cover and all 12 tags for just 9.99 that is amazing value for me definitely a must-have to have if you like in those do pop them into your basket 999-966-752 got a smaller version um, but these are slightly different they're not going to have the tags but they are a6 in size um, and what you've got with these is you've got your covers there as you can see there covers on the front and back there giving you your um, elements but then of course you have got those additional pages in there which you might use to go on the front cover as you can see there that's been decorated and put in place die cut still rule dies will go with them um, through these or it might be that you're just keeping these maybe putting and holes in them with your crocodile and actually using them inside the covers is entirely up to you but you're going to get two of those um, and obviously the, the four pairs of covers um, and also you are going to get some little kind of oval plaques to use with those as well three uh, nine sorry three six nine seven two one if you're wanting those
<laughs> now we've got some of the seven day savers that I'm going to mention to you because they were launched at six uh, sorry eight o'clock this morning um, touched on a couple of them earlier on um, and this is the first time I've seen these ones so you are going to get some amazing um, scissors so here you've got the fabulous scissors as you can see here so um, if you're wanting to get hold of these then that they're Oakwood Oakwood craft as you can see so all you need to do um, to get these is pop them into your basket you're actually going to get two pairs of these good size I love the handles that you've got with these nice kind of rubberized handle so it makes it nice and easy for you to to kind of get hold of good firm pair of scissors nice because you've got two pairs because that way you can actually be using them one maybe for your fabrics and one maybe for your um, your um, paper and your cardstock my tip would be to tie a bit of ribbon perhaps to your fabric ones and then that way you know which ones are for your fabric and which ones aren't both of those 13 pounds and 98 pence and of course launched at eight o'clock this morning while stocks allow you've got that fabulous deal on them where you're saving six pounds now adhesives micro dots I've not seen these as a seven day saver for a long time now you're going to get your sheets so your sheets here you're going to get five of those and what you've got with these hopefully you'll be able to see with them and I peel that back is you've got so can you hear it oh Oh, uh, that's a satisfying sound. Here you have got tiny, tiny dots that are detailed on there. Now, of course, the beauty of these is when you actually apply them something, um, to something, maybe that's got shape to it, it's not necessarily a regular square or a triangle, then there is a case that you are able to, to kind of adhere those dots to them. Also got a couple of rolls of your micro dots in there as well, for £17.71, and 71 pence, 12 pounds saving on those. 112317. And lastly, your watercolour cardstock. This is something that's a must have, especially with those pages, if you're looking at putting them into your projects you're getting 50 sheets oh my goodness i need to get hold of this that's a deal to be had isn't it 12 pounds and 70 and 60 pence 50 sheets a4 300 gsm a brilliant weight there that's going to be a really durable um weight so you can throw all your inks and everything on there without any issue at all zero um, eight two zero eight four don't forget make sure you stay tuned because at eight o'clock we've got some fabulous watercolor inks that are going to work with those as well so you might want to add those into your basket but um in the meantime we've got another demonstration coming up from die so fish eyes on this one so the next stage now with these spines is I've taken some um, burnt umber paint um, and I'm just going to paint this across these spines now you want to do these work the spines really one at a time because you want to wait for the paint to dry to, to a point but before it really sets hard we're going to wipe it back um, if you have antiquing cream, um, that will do the job because it doesn't actually set. So I shall just paint this across here like that. Again, you don't want to put too much paint on that central area. And then leave that like that. And then this will start to set. Um, you can, if you want to, you can just give it a very quick blast, but very quick. Like that. And then we take um, a baby wipe, or you can take um, a, damp, a dampened down piece of kitchen roll. That's just as good. So I'll just grab some kitchen roll and just give it a little spritz. And then we just want to start to just wipe this back. You want it to look patchy. You don't want it to look perfect. That's the idea of it. So you want a little bit of the gold to just shine through. So it just looks like it's been aged like that. And then we can do the same with the one that we've done with the quinacridone gold over it. So we'll just paint that over. As these bits are a little bit smaller, I can probably paint both of these before I rub them back. Like that. And then we'll go back 
to the first one. I'll spritz my kitchen roll again. And you're just lifting off a bit of the paint. But you want it, as I say, to look a bit patchy. The one with the um, Queen Gold does look kind of like uh, leather. That's it, like that. And that's, that's that done, that's that next stage done. So what we can do then um, is we can take the um, one of the covers that I've done. I've already done the uh, back cover with the ring mechanism. So let me just pop this out of the way over there. And then, as I said in the previous part, you can poke your holes through. So you just take a needle and you can just poke poke that through like that and that will pierce the paper so you've still got your holes so we'll very quickly do that obviously where you've got a bit of dried paint in there it's going to be a little bit harder to get the needle through So we'll go through and do that one. Like that. Like that. And then what we can do then is we can start to actually construct the binder. So that's the way around it goes because you've got your ring mechanism over that side. And then you want to start gluing these pieces on. So the way they go on um, is you would have your... Um, living hinge spine almost level with the edge of the board and where you've got these holes here you can see they will match up with those holes there and then the same with this one you can see that the holes there match up with the holes on that side so all those three pieces can be glued down just on this area so you can glue all of those down. We'll go on and do these bits afterwards, but just so you can see, you can see that that there will match up with the holes underneath. So I'll do that and then we'll go on to the next stage. So this is now all stuck down. And what um, I've done next is I've started to put in some stitching on here. So where I've stuck this piece down here, that actually lines up with those holes. So I've used some linen thread, which I've doubled up, and you just pop that in through the first hole. And then you can bring that back up through the next hole like that. And then we can go back through the next one, but then to make it look quite neat going right the way across, you just go back on yourself and go back through that hole there. Like that. If you use um, a waxed thread, then you'll find that it won't uh, knot up too much. This one isn't waxed, so it's a little bit more tricky. Then going back again, you have to go along to this hole there. So you're going along two and then Oh, that's caught on the back there. Pull that through and then go back on yourself again. Like that. And then finally, you just go to the last hole there and then back on yourself. So that's your stitching done there. And you can just finish that off by going back through underneath and doing the knot. If you want to, you can cover up the stitching with a piece of pattern paper or something just to cover it up if you want to at a later stage. So we just clip that off there like that. And then 
To actually finish off this, this part, we need to take the, um, this piece here. Now, what you will need to do um, is have yourself some ribbon ready, which you can just sort of tie round, however way you like, round here. Um, and then you just glue this part. Uh, you can put a bit of glue on there if you like, but because it's quite thick and you are going to have the, the ribbon there, um, it's going to bulk it out a bit. But once you start sewing, that will just pull all that down and that look a lot better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, to glue this down. Um, I'll add the ribbon, I'll um, let it dry and then I'll put on the front cover and then I'll take some photos of the finished, um, the finished item. Now, sadly, we're not going to be able to get back to the second part of that demonstration this evening. But don't forget, tomorrow at 11 o'clock, we will be continuing with Tando Creative, so you'll be able to see the second part during that hour. And I've got one of the um, fabulous albums created here using that stitch detail that Di's just shared with us. Such a clever way of attaching those spines and so, so effective, as you can see. And, of course, being one of the A5 ones, we've got all those fabulous brand-new templates which are detailed at the bottom of the screen. But if you do want your binders, the details are 764609 as you can see 1599 you'll get your A5 and you'll also get the equivalent um, as an A6 size which is perfect for you to work with the sense and the templates we've been chatting about so brand new we have got A5 and of course the A5 elements are going to fit within that, that uh, binder that we're seeing coming to life with the demonstration it's been a very popular bundle you've got 29 elements within here um, and 80% of the stock has gone wow we have been busy for this now what you've got here is you've got your templates as you saw potentially from the earlier demonstration if you did manage to catch that where the templates will give you everything that you need all the mathematical calculations have been done and you've got your markings there to show you where the score lines where the folds are where you need to put the holes in place for them to go within an A5 binder and of course when they are put in place you're creating the most interactive element to sit between those covers as you can see all the way through you'll be able to use those templates to create loads of pockets loads of pages right the way through it's brand new bundle for us an A5 and we've not seen them before we have seen A6 and we have indeed got those and they've been popular as well and if you do want to get hold of those you can do but if you want in this particular set then details are there we're going to see more from these and more from Di 11 o'clock tomorrow morning so I do hope that you'll be able to join her or maybe set and record it because of course Di always gives us some fabulous information that's definitely worth going back and recapping on so for the time being if you're wanting your templates 135876 is the all-important item number 31 pounds and 90 nine pence we'll get them all on the way to you and then you can craft with them but check out some of the other goodies that tando creative have brought as well i'll see you in a moment So if you're wanting to take advantage of the one-day special, the next hour is a perfect opportunity to do so. I'll be back with a lovely um, Anthony in just a few moments. Picture this nighttime hours and then a repeat of our one-day special straight after that. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately. But but good news, Freedom Membership has remained the same at $19.99. What that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month. You could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either. So it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Chanda. Now shipping again to you out in America. So take advantage of that. Make sure you become a Freedom Member though. Take advantage of that saving. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products.
I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts 2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts 2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made of the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Julie Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Hello there and welcome back. It's your second opportunity to see our fabulous one day special live and it's a brilliant deal. It was very popular at six o'clock when we launched it and of course we are talking Prima. So we're talking quality and talking of quality, we've got a quality guest here in the studio. I'm sure you recognise this face. We've got the fabulous Anthony with us and he's going to be continuing with his demonstrations. How are you doing Anthony? Oh, I'm good, thank you Hayley. Good to have your company again. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to seeing what Anthony um, has got coming up because he'll explain to us a little bit later on how you can use this fabulous one day special for of course all the other wonderful Prima goodies that we have on the show as well. Now I will let you know, I did warn you that we were busy and we are always busy for Prima but for nearly 40% of the whole day stock went in that first launch hour so yes you need to get hold of this while you have the opportunity so have a look at this mould, it's beautiful. What you can see here is you've got a series of different clocks, four clocks and different sizes with these as well which you think is the key thing. So whatever project you're working on there will be a clock that will fit the purpose to adorn that project, be it home decor, be it card making, lots and lots of ways you can use these and we've got some fabulous finished samples to share with you. But it doesn't stop there because you are getting the most amazing bottle of sculpture medium. Now I'm not going to lie, I hadn't got a clue what this was at six o'clock but we had some amazing amazing demonstrations from Anthony which showed us how this neutral beige colour that you've got here within here you've got a kind of like a, a magic medium in there that is actually going to turn your fabric hard so let me show you it because we've got a wonderful bottle here that's got fabric, fabric draped around it 
it basically saturates your fabric any fabrics that you like and for individual purposes you can use it to adorn things such as this bottle here and it stays in place it stays and it's rock hard you can add color to this after it's dried and it is definitely um, a brilliant product now I love this I love the idea and we had some wonderful demonstrations we're going to see some more demonstrations with it during this hour but have you seen that clock face that's been used on this piece absolutely amazing again the same size as you can see here but this time just using a little tin can now they could have had beans in there or ravioli or whatever you like could have been in there or maybe you've got something at home that maybe you've fallen out of love with love the shape of it love the idea of using it in a project but you just wanted to make it a little bit different well, of course the products that we've got within your one day special will allow you to do that now we've seen three different projects that have got some um, kind of a, a mix media maybe um, uh, an uh, antique kind of look to it but it doesn't have to be that verdure it doesn't have to be that rust look it could be as pretty and pink as you can see here lovely pastel tones really beautiful design and you'll notice there are some additional elements featuring on this piece which I'll tell you about in a few moments but for the time being if you're wanting your um, a fabulous mold here as you can see 25 pounds and 98 pence will get you both the mold as well as your sculpture medium and of course you can get hold of additional sculpture medium in clear if you're wanting to see your fabric the print of your fabric coming through on your project then do go for the clear alongside it 25 pounds and 98 pence for your one day special and 13.99 if you fancy going for an additional bottle of that um, sculpture medium so nine one three three seven one 371 is the all-important item number and while you're popping that into your basket let me tempt you with a, a couple more molds because I think once you've seen these you will want these ones as well these are lovely now of course Prima um, a company from overseas so we do have to mention we have got extended delivery looking at the 29th of May with regards to the dispatch of these but they're worth every single moment of that wait and um, now this one you've got three molds as you can see well three elements within the mold should I say you can use them independently quite easily as Anthony will show us you don't have to use the whole of that frame either you could perhaps just take that little rose arch that you've got on either end but then the other plate that we've got for you the other mold should I say it's got lots of elements in here like this one we've got a bit of a, a kind of a seaside theme with some of it we've got clamshells in here we've got starfish but then you've got some amazing kind of cornice pieces there um, you've got some fleur-de-lis featuring in there so lovely if you are doing something of an antique nature but of course when you are using the medium and um, from Prima it's that lightweight when it's dried out you can even use it on the front of your cards as you can see here with a little starfish appearing and of course these are lovely to use up those little bits of excess clay that you might have left over from a larger project now with these they are very very popular and 30 percent of the stock has gone of each of them both on the same item number so the beauty is if you want to go for both of them and you're not a freedom member then you won't have any additional post unpacking but of course you could add them in alongside your one day special and take advantage of them that way as well now talking of the medium that you're going to use within them we're looking at two pots here but we're actually going to be sending you four each one is going to have a hundred grams of that wonderful modeling material in there this is what Anthony has been using throughout and it's a lovely um, kind of texture that you get with a super smooth finish with these love the fact that you're getting them in four little pots rather than one big pot with 400 grams in there and of course that means if you are mixing up colors then you can actually put them back and have different colors in each one of those pots as you're working way through two-thirds of the stock has gone of these it's been very popular medium um, and uh, of course if you're wanting to get hold of them in multiples then you can do we do struggle to keep this in stock so if you're wanting yours 287302 we're very busy again um, and uh, of course we've got lovely Anthony here so I'm not going to tell you about anything else because it's all on the website you can have a little look yourself but I know Anthony will be using many of these products um, in his next demonstration so what have you got planned for us Anthony right first of all I'd like to just <coughs> explain about the moulds now the one thing a lot of people know me for is moulds, okay? I've, I've been around the industry for quite a few years now and moulds is one of the things that I really, really love. But what I especially love about the Prima moulds is, quite simply, the storage of them. Because they're all the same size, okay? Um, rather than just put them into a box and then take 20 minutes to find the one you actually want, you can, if you want, actually just label down the side here, okay, so they fit perfectly on a bookshelf in your craft room so you can maybe this is the clocks one so you just write down on the side their clocks and you've got it straight away because a lot of the time where it comes to storage <clears throat> 
people are always hunting for, for what they want. If you can find what you want straight away, you're more likely to use it more. Right, so the actual molds themselves are food grade silicon, which is really, really important. So if you want, you can actually be using these uh, for your cake decorating, or maybe you, you like cookies. So that's the sort of thing you can actually be using. What we always recommend is that if you're going to be using them for that type of craft, um, cake decorating, then you do buy yourself a second set. Now, these are the three um, different molds we've actually got on the show here today. This is the one that is the one day special. So it is the one with the four fantastic antique style clocks. Now, the great thing I love about um, molds in particular is that you don't just have to use the entire clock face. If you just want to use this element here, then by all means, just make that part of the mold using your clay. Now, what I'm going to be using in this particular one is the modeling material um, product from Prima. Now you're going to get, be getting four of these. There is 100 grams in each. They go a long way. You can color them using any of the mediums that we do actually have on the show. So whether it's um, the liquid acrylics or indeed the concentrated um, watercolor, you can use to actually color those. So if you want to see uh, coloring, do have a look at the show um, launch that was at six o'clock on, on the Rewind facility. So once you've actually um, got your clay, okay, you've got your moulds, how does it all work? Really, really easy. So this is what I particularly love about this clay. So we're just going to use corn flour here just to actually dust that in to every little crevice. Now you will notice all the little tiny detail there on the clock face. Okay, so just make sure there's no clay or even um, large bits of the corn flour actually in there okay so it is nice and clear now i have already colored some clay okay a little bit earlier on so what i'm going to do just pop the lid back on this is air dry clay now um yes you can be using that type of clay if you want you can be using hearty soft clay now the difference is this is the clay from prima so it does actually set like a a rock then you've got, this is hearty clay, so this is really, really light, lightweight, so that's going to work brilliantly for your card making. Or if you want to be making things like jewellery, you can actually be using polymer clay as well. Okay, so that is actually polymer clay that you have there, and obviously that's hard as well. But the real great thing about Prima Moulds in particular is because they are just on one plane, you can then use your pourable mediums, so things like your plaster of Paris or indeed your resins, because they're going to work absolutely brilliantly in there. Now obviously with resin it can get very hot, so just make sure that um, you're, you're working in a nice sort of like clean area with nothing actually around you, and <clears throat> then you should be fine. Right, so we're going to be using, like I say, the Prima Clay, so I've already coloured it. The colour it actually comes in is just sort of a, like an off white colour, but it does actually dry white. So you can see I'm just quite easily just pushing that in to the mould itself. So just twist that round. You don't have to put the whole lot in all at once and have to fill it. You can just um, be putting little pieces in just to fill little pieces of the mould at once. What I particularly like about this uh, clay <coughs> is it's actually, when I, when I say it's not that soft, it actually is, but it, it's firm, so it's more like a, a fondant if you're um, into like your cake decorating, you know exactly what I mean. But it does make it um, an awful lot easier to use. So just going to pop that in there. Now I'm just going to roll using a nylon rolling pin. So we're just going to roll the clay out. So I know there's a little bit more in there. And when it actually comes to uh, colouring the clay, <coughs> my top tip is actually just put the clay into the mould straight from your pot. So in other words, when it's actually white. And then you know that that is exactly the right amount of clay that you need to colour for a particular project. So you're not left over with colours that you possibly wouldn't be using for anything else. Okay, so let's just make sure all of the clay is in all the little crevices there. Okay, and then when you're happy that you've actually got that, just make sure that you just pull the clay from the upper part of the wall back in to the mould itself. That just makes it um, a little bit easier where it actually comes to pulling the clay out. Right, now as I said earlier, um, when I first started to use these particular moulds with the clock faces, I found that some of the time the clock, um, the numbers or the Roman numerals 
didn't actually show up. So what I did was I just used um, some plastic that I've got just on some packaging there, just pop that over and then from the back side I just pressed downwards and that is almost like stamping those Roman numerals into the clay from this side. Okay. But the thing is, and the great thing is, you know, if you don't get it right first time, don't worry, because it is clay, you can just pop that back inside the mould. So, we're just going to pop this onto our work surface, and because this is a large piece, we're just going to very, very slowly just pull the mould back, and as you can see, there we go. If we just um, hold that one up to there, okay, you can see all of the little Roman numerals there are absolutely perfect. So that's Amazing the Amazing detail in that. that one. It is, isn't it? It is really, really beautiful. So this is like a clock that would possibly go like on a mantelpiece. So where it comes to drying this, just place it onto a piece of cardboard. Now what you will need to do is about an hour after that's been left on there, then just flip the whole thing over so it's then on that side. And again, leave it for an hour. And then what I recommend is just put another piece of cardboard on top and then just uh, a weight, probably something, let's have a look how much this weighs. Oh, that's, that's in millilitres. <laughs> so not something that's not too heavy, so just place that on there once it's um, set an hour on both sides. And then you would just keep that clay rather flat. But in saying that, if you actually want to wrap this particular piece around um, an object, so let me just pop that in there, then you'll actually want it to dry in place. So just very, very carefully, without applying actually too much pressure, there we go, that is the sort of um, shape maybe I want to put on um, a vase or indeed a, a tin, then you want it to dry that shape, so just leave it like that. Then after about uh, an hour, obviously you can't turn it round, but you just want to put some elastic bands actually around that just to make sure it's held in place because you will notice that after a time the clay naturally will start to want to pull up. So once you've done all of that and then you've left it for about 24 hours then that would be dry and then you can actually paint it with colours and you can add um, things like gilding wax without actually squashing any of the impression that's been made by your, um, your mould there. Okay. So that's part of your one day special. The next one is this, and this is the, um, the sculpting medium. Now the sculpting medium is a product that's going to basically like add starch as such actually into your fabrics. Be, it can be used on paper as well. So you can actually use this straight um, from the bottle, but I'm just going to uh, put some gloves on here because I'm going to be driving home a little bit later and I don't want to coat my steering wheel with it. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just got some cotton material here, but it can be any material. Now, the one day special, you're actually going to be getting um, the natural beige colour, but also on the show separately, there is the transparent colour. Now, if you have some really, really fancy fabric that you want to be using to actually put onto a canvas, then I'd recommend actually going for that because it is really nice and all the detail of your fabric is actually going to remain on there. But if you know you're going to paint it, this is the one to be going for, which is in your one day special. So just pop that in the centre there of your hand and then just squeeze a generous amount on. You can always add to it. Okay, and then literally just fold it up, okay? And you can see when it starts to, there we go, ooze actually back through the fabric, you're gonna know that it's basically um, really coated it well. So just keep on massaging that into your fabric, okay? Now what they do also recommend is that once you've actually um, set it in, you know, with all your folds, or maybe you want to sculpt it even more, do something three-dimensional, then once that's actually dried, you can paint over it yet again, and that's just going to make it really, really rigid. This product is only for indoor use, okay, so don't think you can actually put this outside, okay? Now, now we saw that used on the, the wine bottle earlier on, Anthony, so when it's wet, is that when you would drape it around something like the wine bottle? Yeah, indeed, yes, yeah. So I'm just going to, let's have a look. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going to use a transparent one, okay, just to show the sort of effect. So literally on the wine bottle, I just held it in place and literally 
just went like that and you can see all of the all of the folds if you want more then go in there and you know just scrunch up the material until you're happy with the look then that is going to stay in place you don't need any extra glue that is going to stay exactly where you put it okay so once that's done that is going to take possibly 24 hours plus to actually dry depending obviously on the size of your fabric and obviously depending how warm it is in your room you can use a craft heat tool to actually help the setting process of that so once that's actually drying let me just pop that over there okay as you take the gloves off pop the lid back on there okay then <clears throat> I said to you earlier I was going to show you actually how to do the painting Ooh, yes. so we're actually going to paint um, this and you can see this is this is set nice and hard but let me just show you the actual massive project that we're actually going to be doing when this arrived <clears throat> and this is on the show although I don't think it's actually on the counter it's this fabulous um, MDF piece here oh okay. wow um, it is a display case you're not going to get any of the cogs or any of the other pieces but you can see what I've actually done here is I have draped this fabric going around the outside so as you can see it says live for today so it can be like a memory box so maybe you, you've gone away on holiday and you've come back with a few pieces that are you know part of your memories you can put them on these little shelves indeed you could be using it to actually store your craft stuff now look I'll just quickly flip this round to the reverse side because it is really really nice I'm just pop it that way to start with so you can see it is a really nice substantial um, um, MDF case so you're going to get lots of little compartments there to put all your little pieces in all your memorabilia all I can say indeed your craft stuff but going around to the back here they have actually thought of everything because you can either hang it um, landscape or portrait and it's got all of the pieces here to enable you to actually then hang that on the wall now what I've done I've just put um, a rustle like uh, paint on there I've used the um, the papers that are in the um, vintage emporium book okay which is that one there and I've just gone in there and I've added some MDF cogs and distressed those but as you can see this is the difference if I just hold up the heart here okay and if we just go down to the bottom you can see this one here okay this piece of fabric here I have actually painted afterwards so we've got a solid color red on it and then I've added a little bit of black to the paint and gone for the like the, the folds that are quite low down and then on the top there I've done completely opposite I've added a little bit of um, white into the mix and that really emphasizes the folds actually in the material so yes this one looks nice as it is but when you actually do the simple and I do mean it is a really simple paint technique it does just emphasize all of those folds so that's what I'll show you how to do um, just in a couple of moments. It looks like the, um, theatrical drapes around a, a stage or something like that. It, with exactly, those. It looks yes it does. Okay, right, so we have our standard colour. Now these paints are also available on the, the Hachanda site, I do believe. So these are just acrylic paints, okay. So this is the base colour, okay. And you need hardly any of it and let's just go for another dog just there and that is going to be our and white know you, mix. you touched on this earlier because we, obviously we have got some um, liquid acrylics on the show but you were saying if you're looking at covering a large area to use what, a regular acrylic paint? Yes a regular acrylic paint because the the paints that we actually have on the show the liquid acrylics they are fabulous in their own right but they're not going to give you a solid finish tomorrow I do actually have a project where I've actually used that to um, cover, cover a piece of fabric but we'll show that one tomorrow so in one of these pieces we're just going to add a very very small amount of black and literally just a small amount of black like so and then in the other piece I'm going to add some white so this is going to be the highlight and then we're just going to do a little bit of this hard and this is just to show you the technique on how to how to color it so it's really nice okay right so just give the the black and the red a little bit of a mix and you can see that's the sort of the the color there so it's not quite black and it's, it's more like a purple color right so this is the, the dry brush technique you're going to want here and then literally just pop your brush just inside one of the creases 
and then just follow it around. It really is that easy. Okay, so just go in there. So wherever there's a crease in the material, just go in there. Don't apply too much pressure. And like I say, those folds will almost just guide your brush around there. So even if you're not um, a brilliant painter, you're still going to be able to achieve this f effect really, really nicely. And as you can see already, it's just bringing out those creases that are actually in the material. This is amazing because this is a kind of um, plaque that you might find in one of those home decor stores and you could be creating these yourself. So, so easy. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. So just keep on going. Like I said, we've got hardly any paint actually on there. Just keep on going around. I'm not going to do the whole heart, so it's just to give you just to give you an idea there. So once we've gone on with that one, you can just soften some of the edges like so. So again, there's hardly any paint just on there. So it really is that dry brush technique. Let's just clean the paintbrush. It's very dramatic. And then we're just going to go with the, the red there and the white, so obviously that's going to give us a pink. Okay, and then again, just make sure there's not too much paint actually on there. And then just go for the highlights just there. So maybe that's a little bit too much paint. Or indeed, if you really want to go, you know, to the ultimate, you can just literally just um, paint on a little bit of white, but just keep on going over. The trick is you don't want to actually paint the entire heart, so get rid of basically the base colour. You just want to keep on going in there and just literally just touching the very, very top of the surface in this particular instance. Okay, just, just keep on going. Very effective, this technique. And then if you want, once that's actually dry, just a little bit of gilding wax to add a little bit of shine. But I'm going to finish off the rest of that tomorrow. So when we have new viewers um, watching, then it's something to um, continue on with. But you can just keep on there. You can see it really does emphasise those creases um, when it comes to the painting. That looks amazing, Anthony. Thank you so much. And how effective is that? Just using a little bit of additional paint um, to enhance the folds that are already there. And of course, you are going to get some of that wonderful medium within your one day special. But if you want the clear that Anthony was speaking of, just $13.99, you can add that into your basket. Now, we got so far along the counter um, and then we went to Anthony. I'm going to let Anthony get ready for the next part of his demonstration while I tell you a little bit about some of the other products that Prima have brought to us during this hour. We have got the most incredible palette here. It is beautiful. Beautiful. We're looking at your metallic pastels here. Now they're watercolour accents as you can see and you've got 12 of them within this palette. You've also got a little paintbrush that sits neatly in the centre there and of course the whole thing does close up with the lid in place so of course if you are taking it on your travels then you can do quite easily. But have a look at the amazing colours that you've got in here. You've got metallic sheen with these, you've kind of got interference with some of them as well. Multifaceted colours I'm sure you'll agree and of course the beauty of these is they're going to look different dependent on whether you're using them on a light base um, or a darker base as well. Brilliant value at $18.99. I know lots of you have been adding these into your baskets as well. And they're good sized pans that you've got within there. So really good value for money. Do like that, like that one a lot. So if you fancy getting hold of that, then 308173 is that all important item number. You can imagine adding that little kind of brush in a little addition onto all the different accents of the moulds that we've been chatting about. Now, in the last hour, we did see Anthony working with the fluid acrylics and we touched on it just a few moments ago and these are brilliant because what you've got you've got intense color within here think of your concentrated orange juice it's a bit like that and you need a tiny tiny amount now if you do want to extend it to kind of lighten the color of it then you've got a couple of ways you can do that you can add a little bit of water if you're wanting to but it might be that you just want to extend it and not necessarily dilute down the color too much so that's why you have got your a medium in here which is a clear um, medium that you're going to add to it which just extends the actual Tr um, area that you're going to be able to cover with it without it um, kind of being too dark, too intense. Nice thing is you've got your magenta, you've got your yellow and you've got a gorgeous kind of turquoise blue in there. So not your true primaries, but they are kind of a nod to your primaries. So of course you could mix those and get all sorts of colours. Um, saw some beautiful work using a couple of those. Um, in fact, I think it might be a little bit further along, but I'm guessing you could see it with here, where you could be mixing up a couple of those colours, the pink and the blue, to create a kind of purple tone.
tone maybe adding in some of that darker um, brown to kind of make it into more of an antique colour and of course using it alongside the folds of the fabric as you saw Anthony doing just a few moments ago. So if you fancy this set, again, really good value for money, £35.99, 032049. A little really does go a long way with those. But also we've got the ability for you to add um, to, well, to anything that you want to. Because, of course, the uh, paints that we've just been looking at, um, at the acrylics, um, we did see Anthony use those to change the colour of the, um, the medium he was working with. Um, and, again, you can do that with these. Now, these are little trios, as you can see. Again, a nod to primaries with this set here with your magenta your blue and your yellow featuring within here and again you've got that dropper which means that you've got complete control over the amount of the the kind of content of the the watercolor that you're actually adding of course when you're working with your clays and elements just be careful that you don't make it too wet you don't want to to add too much moisture to it which is why these are so highly concentrated now of course this particular set is perfect if you're wanting to do kind of like your verdigris or your antiquing kind of um, effects because you've got that gorgeous kind of peacock blue in the middle there, fabulous orange there, and of course you've got that um, kind of umbertone within there as well, rusty as you can see it's called. $15.99 is a choice of either or, but of course you can come back in and go for both of them under the same item number, 620371 if you're wanting those. Now something else Prima bring to us, well they bring us all sorts of things to be honest, including the things like stamps, and we've got some wonderful stamps, clear stamps on this occasion to share with you, and you're getting both of these stamp plates for just £9.98. And again, you can see lots of detail within these clear, so of course they're perfect for you to position wherever you need them to go, and you can be using these with your card making quite easily. Love the little aperture that you've got within that stamp plate, because of course it opens up the possibility of you either using the butterfly that comes with it, or of course you could put something else of your own choosing in there. Additional butterfly um, stamps have been used around the edge there, as you can see, creating that um, almost like border, or creating your own background papers, but then of course you have got the addition of things like your sentiments featuring in here which of course could enhance your project as well little flowers as well you can see on there where we have got some flowers coming up in a few moments so if you're going for the stamps then you might want to hang on for those 826106 if you are wanting those um, it's a popular hour I have to say lots of you adding lots of different goodies into your baskets um, and the next set of stamps that we've got again coming from Prima this time they, we're looking at cling stamps so when you look at these they have got obviously the mount on them to give them that spongy um, sense with them. Of course, with these, you've got um, your rubber detail with them. So, of course, they are slightly different to the stamps we saw just a few moments ago, which does mean that you can use them in different ways. And I meant to ask Anthony about whether you could actually make an impression using these within your uh, medium that you have got available from Prima today. Um, and I'm sure you will be able to, because that is usually the case with those stars of stamps. Prima flowers. Again, something else they're famous for. Look at this, though. This is beautiful. You've got a gorgeous bloom, as you can see there. And, of course, that fabulous kind of vintage bow with that detail in the centre there. Really, really pretty. That's going to enhance a project. It could be a, a frame or a mirror or something like that that you're creating. Perhaps using some of that uh, medium with fabric wrapped around it. Lots of scope for those. 039954 if you're wanting to get hold of them. They come together for just £12.98. And, of course, mention the flowers a few moments ago they're in part of this bundle um, and it is a bumper bundle because you're getting loads within here so you've got your gorgeous paper flowers as you can see there's a variety of different sizes different prints um, and they are uncoated so that means that you can enhance the colors